What is going on everybody? It's the Georgia Bulldog Will here and man was this one heck of a game today. The Jets, well let's, uh, I'll rephrase that. The New York Jets played the Pittsburgh Steelers today in Pittsburgh. So it was not at MetLife Stadium so it's gone. So basically our season is gone. Home against Baltimore, away, in Cle away against Cleveland, home against Cincinnati, away against Pittsburgh. So yeah, the for the first four weeks of the season we've been playing we've been playing um what's it called? We've been playing we've been playing the AFC North. So first four games were all against the AFC North. So AFC North, done. We are two and two. Two and two this season so far and two and two against that division. So hey, I'll take that. We beat Cleveland and we beat Pittsburgh. So I'll take that. On the road too, awesome. Freaking awesome. We're 2-0 on the road. We're 0-2 at home. Looking to make it 1-2 next week against Miami. Yes, spoiler spoil, Spoiler alert. Yes, the Dolphins are our next game. And they are at home. MetLife Stadium. But anyway. Um, what a comeback by the New York Jets in the fourth. We were down 20-10 to entering the fourth quarter. I was like, I've been watch, I was watching the entire game. We needed, we needed to score fast. Then we needed a defensive stop, and then just score again, and then just hold them off. We did all that. So, so here's this. So Corey, di so we drive down the field after I think we forced Pittsburgh to punt. Um, yeah, I believe we, I believe it was a punt, and then we drive down the field. Corey Davis gets the touchdown, and then the extra point uh, is made. So the Jets are within a field goal. Then, so Pittsburgh's got Kenny Pickett in because Trubisky was not good. <laughs> Trubisky is not good. Kenny Pickett should be the starting quarterback, 100%. I think, I think that he should be the starting quarterback for the Steelers. And, uh, yeah, that should stay that way. Trubisky should not be the starting quarterback. <laughs> Kenny Pickett's a lot better. Heck, he ran in for two touchdowns today. He had a great day. But except for the fact that he threw uh, two interceptions. If um, I think he threw two or three. Was it two or was it three? I know Pickett threw. Pickett threw. It was three interceptions, actually. My bad. Yeah, it was three. I remember. I, remember, I think I remember them all. Yeah, after we punted, we picked them off, and then we threw one right back to them. Yeah, we threw it right back. And then, uh, yeah. But anyway, back to the Corey Davis. So, yeah, yeah, it was after, actually, no, it was after another, it was after the last touchdown they got. So they got a touchdown. We drive down the field. Took, so, took us 11 plays. It was an 81-yard drive, and it lasted about 6 minutes and 5 seconds. Then the next drive... After we kick off to Pittsburgh, they throw an interception. Michael Carter the second picks off Kenny Pickett, and the Jets are in business. Zach Wilson passed to Corey Davis for 15 yards to midfield. Brees Hall with a two-yard rush with with a might with a negative two-yard rush, so he lost two yards. Then. The, sh uh, the pass over the middle to Brees Hall for six yards. Then we reached a two-minute warning. Then third down and six. A crucial third down and six. Um, Zach Wilson throws to Tyler Conklin for eight yards to the Pittsburgh 38. Then timeout by the Steelers. Then at the Pittsburgh 38, we had a five-yard pass to Garrett Wilson, but then Corey Davis committed an illegal block above the waist penalty. It was a 10 yards and forced at the at the uh, original line of scrimmage. So they had to go back 10 yards to the 48, making it first down and 20. Then, then Mike, then, then uh, Zach Wilson passes over to his left to Michael Carter for 11 yards. Um, another Pittsburgh player got injured. And then another timeout by the Steelers because of that injury. And then, second and nine at the 37, 
a 17-yard pass to Corey Davis to the Pittsburgh 20. Then they have to go no huddle. They're running at it. They got they got to they got to go. Michael Carter runs to the left for five yards to the Pittsburgh 15. Then at the Pittsburgh 15, a he he uh, Michael Carter ran to the left side for one yard. But then there was a penalty on the Steelers for defensive holding. Five yards enforced at the spot of the foul, which was the 14. And that moved the Jets to the 9. On the 9, Brees Hall runs to the left for 7 yards to the Pittsburgh 2. Then the Jets call timeout. 45 seconds left. Or eight, 18 seconds left. And then... And then after that, and then after that, Brees Hall with a two-yard rush. Zerline makes the extra point. Jets are up 24-20. Then they have two plays. Pickett goes for the Hail Mary. And LaMarcus Joyner intercepts it in the end zone. Touchback, but it doesn't matter. The Jets win, and they are back to 500 at 2-2. Two what a win for the New York Jets. I mean, oh my goodness. I, 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 I thought we could come back there and we freaking came back. Some, some comeback, comeback season is comeback season again. Freaking, I freaking, I'm, I'm, I'm so happy that we won this game. Zach Wilson had a phenomenal game. I'm so glad he's back after that injury in the preseason, which again, I don't know why we risked him. But anyway, he's back and he's doing awesome. The the training staff helped him recover very quickly. Got got back on the field for this game and it helped us. So I'm very proud of Zach. Robert Sala gets his sixth win as head coach of the Jets. Defeats the veteran and a very good head coach in Mike Tomlin. Very impressive for Robert Sala. Very impressive win for the New York Jets head coach, Robert Sala. Very proud of you, coach. Anyway, as I said earlier, the Jets will be playing the Dolphins next week at MetLife Stadium. We're looking to win our first home game of the season. Um, I will say this. I really hope Tua Tagovailoa is, is going to recover soon because he took a very bad injury on Thursday. I, I feel horrible for him. I feel terrible. Terrible, terrible, terrible. I feel horrible. Gosh, all these Alabama players are getting injured. Freaking Mac Jones gets an ankle injury uh, last week. And then on Thursday, Tua gets an injury. Gosh. And then Bryce Young gets injured in the Alabama-Arkansas game. It's ridiculous. But, uh, yeah, I hope he's okay. I hope Jones is okay, and I hope Bryce Young is okay. So, yeah, I hope those three are okay. Anyway, I will see you all later. I'm very happy the Jets win. Jets win. 2-2 two and two on the season. Pittsburgh drops to 1-3. and three. They got the... Who are they playing next? They're playing the Bills. They're playing the Bills at Highmark Stadium. The Bills just came off of a big win against... The Bills came off of a comeback win against the Ravens on the road. So, good win for Buffalo. And the Jets played the Dolphins at home. The Dolphins lost on Thursday night to the Bengals. Uh, but we'll see how they do against the Jets. I'll see you all later. Go Jets!